trip mines, the boss partisan and his associated karma system, the brand new factory, there was a ton to wet our palate with and enjoy things this go around. Sometimes the wipes feel kind of lackluster, either because they are devoid of impactful changes or additions, or because we go so long without a wipe that hitting the reset button is almost jarring to many. But this was on one of the better ends of updates. What also came with this patch was something the community has wanted for quite some time now, and that's the ability to adjust the zoom level of the different variable optics currently in the game smoothly instead of being on either one zoom level or the other. To be honest, and I'm not trying to be hyperbolic here, but this change is freaking massive for the game. So many optics are now completely usable and totally viable, instead of the two or three that people always tend to gravitate towards. There are so many more opportunities for variety now, it's just awesome. Some scopes were affected more than others, but in general, this change in particular was a massive net positive for the game as a whole. As far as I've played around with in terms of the scopes, there isn't really a bad option or any that can't be used anymore. Some are still better than others, but I'm sure people will be hesitant to try something else instead of using just what works. But I would encourage anyone watching this to give the scopes that were actual jokes in the game a try now and see if you like them. You never know, you might just find an alternative that is just as, if not more effective than what you were previously using for a cheaper price. The specific change we are talking about is this one right here. Added the ability to smoothly adjust zoom for the following optics, and with it, 14 scopes were given this ability. I won't be going through all of them because we'd be here for a while, but pretty much any long range rifle scope that had multiple zoom levels or even some with fixed levels can now be zoomed in manually instead of just toggling between the two levels. So for example, the Burris, the Voodoo, the Razor and the Schmittenbender scopes being the more popular ones can go from their default one time zoom level slowly all the way to their four, six or eight times magnification. What did not get this buff were things like the Assault Scopes, the Hammer, the Elkan, and the Bravo Scopes. Those all still function the same. And while the pool is relatively small, all that were affected only gained from this change. There are some noticeable differences in how the scopes present some of their optics, however, like how the Voodoo's 1x reticle is noticeably larger than what it was previously. Whether or not changes like these are a positive one is a little more subjective, but by default, Holding down the ALT key and then scrolling with your mouse wheel, you can go through pretty much every level of zoom that the scope provides. Granted, the level of zoom won't pop up on your screen unless it's either of the original default levels. It's still incredibly nice to be able to spot a target and then depending on the distance, smoothly zoom into a level that feels more comfortable instead of instantly changing magnifications in a single frame. Something else to note about this change is that if you are using the Voodoo as an example again, but you go up to about a three times magnification, so almost halfway, if you press whatever your keybind is to toggle the zoom level, the scope will always default to its lowest zoom level, no matter how much you've zoomed in manually. Just something to remember in case you have someone in your sights and then accidentally toggle your zoom thinking you might go further in. It always resets to the lowest option available. With 14 scopes getting this new awesome feature, the next best question to ask is which scope should you be trying? Personally, I have two options that I have been using for years even before this change that I think warrant you giving them a shot. The first one is the Hensolt 4-16x scope, a personal favorite of mine for when you need to be tackling targets at extreme distances, which, to be fair, doesn't happen that often in this game because there aren't a ton of opportunities to be fighting someone at over 500 meters, but having that extra level of zoom was always comforting even if it was sometimes disorienting because how much the magnification actually was. But now that's not a problem anymore. The extra zoom when using the smooth zoom makes this optic extremely useful on maps like Reserve, Lighthouse, and especially Shoreline. From the roof of the resort to the power building, hitting shots from there is cake as long as you zero appropriately. But this scope has been one of my favorites when more practical and popular options just became too expensive to run consistently. This scope sells generally anywhere from 25 to 50k rubles on the flea market and will usually come back through insurance because people see the scope and just toss it because it's not what they like. 
I've talked about this scope a long time ago, and do genuinely enjoy using it. Luckily, it's not the only option that just feels better to use after this update. The other option is the March Tactical. You know, that awful scope that for years we had to use for the quest hunting trip. And people would just cheese the quest by using the March Tactical with a red dot mounted on top because it still counted. For years, this scope was not used by pretty much anybody because it had one zoom level, a staggering 24 times magnification. It was genuinely awful. But now the smooth zoom makes getting up to something like a 10 or 11, 12 times zoom level easier and more efficient. Also having a base three times magnification is just amazing. It helps so much. These levels can be easily taken advantage of without feeling too jarring or out of place because you get one low and one high zoom level. And the low zoom reticle feels very natural to what the zoomed in reticle compares to. This scope genuinely needed some love and it was about time it finally got some. Not only with a practical lower magnification, but that extra ability to manually choose a zoom level of your choice. Again, it's not the only scope to benefit from this update, but it might be the biggest glow up out of all the scopes that we've adjusted. One more honorable mention is the pair of KMP159 and 169 scopes. I doubt anyone even knows what these are by name alone, but they are two very similar variable scopes specifically designed for the SV98 in the SVD. Before the update, these scopes had a 3x and a 10x zoom level, but with two versions of the reticle, illuminated sights and non-illuminated. So while the flexibility was nice, it often led to situations where you need to click through multiple times to get to the correct zoom level and if you wanted the reticle illuminated or not. But now, they streamlined that process so these scopes only have illuminated sights. Before the patch, these scopes worked very similarly to how the PSO scopes worked for a comparison, but now they have smooth zoom and are just generally easier to navigate, which is, again, a huge plus. The ranged optics game in Tarkov had become quite stagnant, people only gravitating towards a couple of options because they were just the best options in the game, and with something as important as your optic of choice dictating your playstyle, Having more viable options is critical to allow players to feel like they made the right choice if they go against the grain and choose something different. But now, all 14 sniper scopes feel good or at the very least good to use than they did previously. My hope is that this change is kind of a call to action for the community that gives them the courage to try the other options in the game and at least see if they like them. There are now more options than ever that are both effective for long range encounters, but also just more options that just work. Are some of them perfect? No, of course not. But at the very least, things like the Night Force ATACR is technically usable, even if the default 7x and zoomed in 35 times magnification is still a little intense. Either way, the ranged game in Tarkov just got a massive shakeup, but in a good way and now has never been a better time to experiment and see if you find something new you enjoy using. Thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Let me know down in the comment section below your thoughts on this optic update in general, if you found any new scopes you like using, and be sure to subscribe for more videos about the first step in Tarkov's quest to finally have a level of variety of viable options that people actually take advantage of. I hope to see you in future ones.